Hey babes, welcome back to my channel or welcome to I am Trinity J and today I got another get ready with me. Um, I already did my hair. Maybe eventually we'll get into hair and makeup, but for now it's going to give hair already installed and I'm doing my makeup with y'all, you know, and I don't know what I'm wearing, but we're going to figure all of that out. So the plan or the the plans for tonight, I was invited to another cookout. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go and if I do go, it, 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 I won't be there long because I have some more content to film. I didn't film all the content that I was supposed to yesterday, which was for my last, when I did my last get ready with me, that was yesterday. So, I ended up staying at my homegirls, you know, event cookout till like, I don't know, almost midnight. And I got there at, oh my God, now that I think about it. I got there at like 3.40. Wow, I was there for a long time. But I got to catch up with a good friend. And not only that, you know, I was around her people. They were cool. But um, the highlight for me was seeing a good friend that I haven't seen since high school. And we talked, we caught up, you know. And we were really just talking about like content creating. We were both so excited and just bouncing ideas off of each other. And uh, he said he wants to do a podcast. He got all the, you know, the equipment that he needs to start it. And I'm like, yes, like I've always loved to hear him speak. And he's always been outspoken. And it's just like, yes, do that. Like I can definitely see that for him. So I told him like I wanted to be a guest on somebody's podcast. Mm, I don't know about doing a whole podcast for myself, but I know that I could definitely bounce off somebody else. So if I was a guest or like a co-host, that would be really cool. So we are going to plan an episode on his podcast, which he hasn't even started yet, but we are going to plan that and I'm excited about it because I enjoy talking to him and we have different points of views about different things. So it'll just be, um, I think it's going to be really dope. So yeah, I ended up staying there. We were playing spades, eating seafood. I had a little crawfish. I didn't eat a lot of it. Corn and egg that I didn't eat. My potato that I did eat. What else did I have? I had got some shrimp too, but I didn't eat that. So I didn't eat a lot. And as far as drinking goes, I had like two shots of tequila and then this lemonade whiskey that I had never had. It was okay. But overall, it was a good time. I didn't go out like I told y'all I might in the last Get Ready With Me. I was like, oh, I might go out. No, I didn't go out because after sitting outside for hours like that no ma'am my face felt i just felt greasy i felt like there was hella mosquitoes out there thankfully i didn't wake up beaten up i just knew i was gonna be bit up this morning but i don't know they left me alone so i'm thankful for that but yeah being outside all that long time i didn't want to go to the club after that so i didn't i went home wiped my makeup off and called it a night and since I didn't record or film anymore yesterday, that's why I have to film now because, yeah, I didn't get none of that done. I put my social life before my work. So now I'm having to do extra work. And it's only extra work because if I would have went ahead and did it, then I wouldn't have had to do my makeup again today. I wouldn't have had to do my hair and all of that. So I would have just chilled and been editing a little bit you know um but it's all good you know i'm happy to put this brown wig back on this is my second install with it i felt like the first time i wore it i didn't do enough with it like i feel like it could definitely give more i feel like the color was really pretty but i didn't style it like i had curled it but it was just it just wasn't really given like that and i'm 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 woman enough and confident enough to admit when something ain't given. I ain't given 100% of the time. 
that ain't that's nobody really we ain't never given 100% of the time so and sometimes the looks that you do they just don't really hit like you like you want you know and that's okay it's okay as long as we slay most of the time right so I'm just carving out this eyebrow trying to get a nice little shape I am drawing them a little thicker because I don't have them um they're not waxed I'm gonna get them waxed the day that I get my Brazilian I'm holding out on touching them and then we're gonna be right I get my hair braided Friday which I'm super happy about because I, I've been waiting for these braids for so long and you know I've been waiting for them because I booked them six weeks in advance like that was like unnecessary like she had bookings available that the week that I booked but the thing about it was I wasn't ready to get braids I had more wigs to put on for businesses I mean for companies so I wasn't ready but honey this weekend Friday I'm gonna get my hair braided and I'm gonna be nine weeks into my weight loss which I'm super excited about after eight weeks it's, it's, it's up you know what I'm saying it's like okay I done made it two months you know so nine weeks is a dope thing and my next big goal is 12 weeks which will be three months so we looking forward to that and of course we're looking forward to our trip to the Bahamas so yeah that's what's going on right now y'all I'm just vibing, losing my weight, working out um, Monday through Friday and resting on the weekend. And I'm just happy to have these braids. Like when I get them Friday, I plan on making content all weekend because I want to get as much content as I can while they're fresh because I'm going to be working out that week. I feel like my hair is going to get old faster because I'm going to be sweating throughout the week. So, I gotta make the most of it. I plan on having a hairstyle for like two weeks. Hopefully it does me good for two weeks. And then, I don't know if I'm gonna take them, well yeah, I'm gonna take them out, but I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do a couple more wigs in between. And then, I don't know, I might do wigs until it's time for the trip, or I could, do some wigs in between, get another braid and style that lasts me about two weeks again, and I could still get like two to four wigs in, and then get my braids. I don't know, like, it, it'd be so much that I'd be having going on in my head, just trying to make sure things are planned out and uh, in, in order. And business, of course, comes first. That's exactly why I'm just now getting the braids, and I didn't get them a month and a half ago. So, kind of cool down a little bit I do still have uh, wigs that will be coming in but the companies know that I won't be able to film for a couple of weeks so they're cool with that and I'm happy about that I can enjoy my braids and then you know get some business in do some wigs and you know still wear my hair how I really want to wear it which is the braids like I like not being able to not having to worry about doing my hair when I get up. I can get up and go. I can get up and do my makeup and go. Like, that's just one less thing I have to worry about. It's already cute, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so the first style I'm getting are some freestyle stitch braids. Um, I've had stitch braids before. It was like 10, 10 of them, but they were straight back. So that's a little different. I'm excited to begin like a freestyle this time. I'm gonna have a heart design in it. I don't know what else. Um, I sent her a picture, but I don't think I want it exactly like that. We're going to see. But yeah, I haven't had braids in a long time. So I'm excited to have them. And I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm going to do for my trip here yet. Because I kind of want that to be a surprise. I don't want to spoil everything just yet. But y'all know I'm going to take y'all along the ride when it comes to that. So yeah. So I'm gonna use this color. This is my go-to nude palette. This is the Morphe 3502. And I'm gonna take this corner color and we just gonna dab. Hold on, cause I got a little creasing going on. 
we just gonna dab this real quick make sure everything is even before we apply our color and I wanted to see you this color today because I kind of wanted to keep my lid close to the shade of the concealer that I just used yesterday I did a little brown that's usually what I go for a little brown but today I kind of want to do this color all over and just go ahead and pat that all throughout a nice soft tan color for the eyes I'm not doing anything extravagant I just kind of be wanting to talk to y'all while I do my makeup I used to be into heavy color cut creases glitter that's my thing when I first got into makeup but honey I think I don't know between being a little lazy and just not caring for all the color anymore I, that's why I do so many nude looks and a lot of times it don't be a no eyeshadow and if it is eyeshadow it's just very simple basic between one to three colors so um yeah you know but I will start doing a couple colors I do a couple colors for the summer that's the perfect time to do it so I'm going to definitely get y'all some get ready with me's that are going to be colored, you know, colored makeup looks, especially since that's pretty much all I'm doing. I'm not doing the hair yet. So, yeah, I can at least get y'all that right. And I expect y'all to be talking back to me in the comments like, yeah, tell me things that you agree with. Tell me things that you don't agree with, you know, just. Let me know. Let me let me let me hear what y'all got to say. Cause I'll be here for it. Alright, so now we're gonna do this quick liner. Quick liquid liner. I need to find my marker liner. Yes, skin. Definitely did the Fenty skincare again. I really enjoy it. I do have other skincare products, but I like that uh, this is only like three products. I mean, I could add more to it, but I feel like for a person with unproblematic skin, why even be doing all of that? I feel like as long as I do my exfoliating when I need to and of course I keep my face clean and I moisturize I don't have to do all that extra put me a little toner on honey and call it a day and I'll be like what's your skincare routine baby I'm gonna start at least now I can start telling y'all this um Fenty Oh, I use Fenty products, boom, that's it. I use the Fenty bundle, sweetie. Okay, so I just put my lashes on off camera. I just love how I look with no makeup. Just some brows and lashes can really do it. Put on some lip gloss and you can really just go. Especially when your hair is done. Like I know when I wear them braids, I'm probably not gonna be doing my makeup every day they might make me want to but i know it's not gonna be necessary because the braids are gonna do what i need them to do okay so <clears throat> i just thank god for being pretty I, I really do i don't know if that sounds cocky it is what it is i said what i said i thank god for being pretty <laughs> all right so we taking this fancy foundation of course and we're gonna go ahead and go in with it I'm just so glad it's my perfect shade. Oh, because I would have had, I was tired of mixing. I was mixing foundations for uh, about a year because I had quit doing, you know, makeup for other people. So I had to, um, and I didn't want to waste the foundation. So I was mixing like darker ones with lighter ones to get my shade. And I'm tired of that. I'm glad I can just pull it out and just apply, you know, so. 
but that was all on me i could have been you know got a foundation my color i just mm, i didn't want to waste it so yeah i want to start talking about random subjects on my get ready with me because it's like what am i going to be talking to y'all about all this time you know every time especially if i'm doing them so close together you know where it's like the same things going on things like that so what i'm gonna do is look on some news outlets and we're gonna talk about just a few topics while i finish my face just to let y'all kind of in on how i feel about some things that's going on in the world today whether it's music you know world news celebrity tea and teens whatever it is we're gonna talk about it all right so i just went on the shade room to look for some topics to speak on but mm, it's really not given right now like i see a bunch of blue face and his girl going through it and uh something supposedly happened i guess he was a, abused his mother and sister or she did i don't know i have not been following the story i don't care to but i know they all over the shade room right now and um i definitely don't really care to talk about it at all but i did see something on there that was talking about how pit my ride was fake now i haven't looked into it i just seen like some tweets just of people being disappointed that it was fake. Um, it doesn't really surprise me because they was OD. Like they was putting, I seen him put a casket in his man's, in the back of this man's car because he worked for a funeral home. Like, are you kidding me? They used to do the most. So I'm not surprised that it was fake, but uh, it was, I mean, I could have gone without knowing that, you know, like let me, let me uh, live that forever. But nah, somebody had to come and ruin it. Um, I don't be wanting to know certain things. Like when I found out uh, Gary Coleman, when I was younger, I was younger of course, found out that Gary Coleman wasn't as young as he played in different strokes. Like, I don't want to know that. I want to always envision him as a kid. You know what I mean? So yeah, that um, things like that, like just certain things I don't care to know. Keep it to yourself. Um, but that reminds me of all the shows that was popping back then when Pit My Rod was popping, like, uh, what was, what was it? Um, so you had like Next, which I really liked. I would like them to bring that back. Like, a uh, imagine the 2022 Next. You got a bus. You got a certain person that is trying to date these couple of people. And uh -huh. then you have like, what, four or five contestants, I think it was, something like that. And they get on the bus, honey, you gonna see braids, you gonna see wigs, you gonna see, I would love to see that. Like, I would like to see how they would react. I used to like watching it and um, I enjoyed like when they would get off the bus and instantly get next next like just because their look wasn't giving what the main person wanted or desired um, I think it would be really cool to see the reactions of people nowadays um, what else was another show that I like Room Raiders now that's different uh I don't know. I always, I, I remember I used to think like, what if I'm on room raiders? Like, what if they come to my house? I got to make sure my room clean. And that was one thing that uh, kept me clean in my room. Cause I'm like, what if they come to my house? I didn't know how it worked, you know? I was young, but I'm like, if they ever come to my house, I need to make sure things are speak and span. They used to have the little gadgets where they can um, see the dirt on the bed and all type of stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God like it made me paranoid like i need to always stay clean because even though i don't have a man you never know they might come for me honey and i might be on the show and not even know you know so 
it was some some good came out of that show for me you know and my cleanliness another show was sweet 16. i enjoyed it then but i wouldn't want that to come back now because i just don't care to see younger kids parties it kind of gives me prom vibes and like i just don't care for that so that was cool for for then i remember like um tiana taylor's party it was cool to see certain um you know little parties or whatever i think i, I think soldier boy had one so yeah, it was nice to see like the privileged kids parties, you know, they getting cars for their birthday. I remember one episode, this girl, uh, she got a car, but they gave her her car a couple days before her party and she was blow and I understood. Like, I know that that sounds spoiled, but why would you give me my biggest present days before my party like you just ruined it for me it's not gonna be a surprise and so it's like okay do you have something bigger for me for my party because i want everybody to see like i want to be surprised in front of everybody you know so what you gonna bring to the party a, a helicopter you know what i'm saying like what is it how are you gonna top this off because you just gave me this car on this random day instead of on my big party like that would have been the icing on the cake for my party. And I don't remember what they ended up doing, but I do remember the girl just throwing a fit about it. And I just felt her. And like I said, it probably sounds super spoiled, but why would you do that? Like, why? Give me a good reason on why you would do that. Maybe her birthday was a couple days before the party, but no, I want everybody to see that Rolls Royce pull up, you know? <laughs> like, come on, like, Yuja, Yuja Naka. Use your brain, use your brain. <clears throat> Almost choked, but y'all know I gotta have my water. Gotta stay hydrated. This is my third cup out of five. I'm trying to stay consistent. But yeah. So let me take, what do I need to take? Go down the middle and kind of blend out the center and also this side where it's a little too harsh all right so that's that now we're gonna go in and use our powders so I think I'm gonna start doing my makeup on TikTok like when I'm not doing a get ready with me I'll do it on TikTok I used to go live on Facebook and have like a thousand, fifteen hundred people watching me, three hundred, couple hundred. It just depends on what time it was, but I was really consistent with that. I did that for like at least a good year, and I built the fan base of fifty thousand people in a year, and uh, that was really cool. I didn't get money from it, but it was nice to have built a community, people that trust me, they like to hear me talk, and things like that. So I know they miss me. They tell me all the time, "I miss your lives." I'm like, "Yeah, I probably won't happen again because I ain't getting paid from that." So, yeah, um, I know I can make a business page and do it that way, but I just, I don't know, I just don't desire to do that on Facebook anymore. Um, another show I enjoyed back in the day was Cribs. So I used to love to see the celebrities' houses, even though some of them was rented, but whatever, you know. I would like to see that come back. Like I wouldn't mind seeing mansions and just seeing how they're decorated and just their different styles that the different styles that different uh, celebrities have. I actually seen something like that recently. It was ASAP Rocky. He was showing off one of his places or whatever. Um, so maybe there is somebody doing it, but no, honey, I want the MTV Cribs. Like, I miss just old TV, period. I miss old BET, 106 in Park. Like, man, things just have really changed, you know? Um, when people don't like, they don't care for cable anymore. They'd rather watch content, you know? YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, and things like that. And I understand, I guess, but I definitely do miss the days when we would turn on the TV and see certain things, you know? I'll watch my cartoons, I'll watch my Disney channel with that so Raven. 
um, Cheetah Girls. What else did I like? Kim Possible. Uh, Zach, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Like, ah, oh, I be wanting to be a child again sometimes with my grown ex. <sighs> okay. So, let's go ahead and dust away the powder. Okay. It's giving weight loss in the face and I'm just so happy. <laughs> I like my face size right now. It's gonna get smaller cause I'm going to lose more weight, but this is a good like size for me. You know what I mean? Um, if it starts bothering me, I will probably stop losing the fat and doing my cardio and stuff but um it's gonna take time like i'm only two months in the last time i lost weight i was what four plus months maybe five i know it at least four months in so i definitely got at least two more months worth of work to do before i start feeling away about my face um and even then i only feel some type of way about my face sometimes like i don't know it was like super skinny i just wasn't used to it i think that's what it was I wasn't used to such a thinner face, you know? But change is good, especially when it's healthy, you know? So I'm not tripping. And I know this, um, I know I'm talking about all type of different things, but that's just what it's gonna be when I do my get uh, ready with me. It's like whatever's on my mind, I'm rambling, uh, different topics. So I hope y'all can follow along with me. I really like this makeup, it's soft. It's giving like everyday, pretty, natural. It's giving, it's giving, it's giving. It's giving, it's giving, it's giving. All right, let's do my mascara. We definitely got some things coming up in the future. I do still have my camera, um, but I don't have a computer yet. I could get a just go and get a regular MacBook, but I want my fully loaded. And when I attempted to get a fully loaded computer from Mac, I was having problems with them. Like basically, when they would try to charge charge my card, my daily spending limit wouldn't be up, so it would decline. And it happened so many times and then I would go and raise it and then they, they're they supposed to charge it and they didn't charge it when they said they would. So by the time they charge it again, it was, I had the same problem like, what, two or three times that they, that they said that they were going to do it and didn't do it when they said they would. So I said bump it, I'm going to cancel it and I'm going to either spend this money somewhere else or save it and just wait, you know, because I've been making content without a com without a uh, computer for how long so i put some other things in front of my computer honey okay so let me see let me spray my face mm. and while that dries we're gonna take my highlighter the eye and just wake me up a bit okay all right and then we're gonna go in the brow bone today and highlight that area. I probably did use this for my contour, huh? Okay, so let me take another brush. And just go up in here and add a little illuminator there. 
a little kapush, a little spoosh under the eye. I'm mainly going to be filming ASMR tonight. I got like eight videos that I need to do to do this weekend. I don't know if I'm going to do all eight, but I definitely want to try to get at least six done. So, yeah. And then I still have to do that heel haul too. Which I haven't really been wanting to do, but I'm going to get it out the way. Um, and I reduced the shoes because I was initially going to do like... 13 to 15 pair of shoes, but honey, I'm gonna break it down. We're gonna do six and then maybe in a month or a month and a half or two months, I'll do another one and we'll do another six. We're gonna do it like that. That makes more sense, right? Give you less shoes and more videos. Cause honey, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people ain't gonna uh, look at all them damn shoes, you know what I mean? So, if I can keep y'all, while I have y'all attention, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do me a little shorter video. Make more sense. Uh, y'all attention spans don't be really given. So yeah. But if you are still here right now, your attention span, shout out to your attention span. Shout out to me being entertaining enough for you to still be watching me. I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Okay, the icing on the cake, the glaze on the donut. Nice little quick face. I wonder how long this took me. No, definitely no more than an hour. I wanna say maybe even like 40 minutes. I feel like I did this pretty fast. It was lightweight anyway, you know, it wasn't a lot of work. I thought about putting on some um, gems, putting some gems on my eyes, like stones. Um, I might. Okay. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna, let me find out what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna plug in my flat iron one more time so I can touch up my hair. And we're gonna get this final look going, okay? Had to touch up my ear. I mean, I had to touch up the hair in the front. Well, really all of it, I like to go through. But, uh, and this hair is okay. It's, it's I don't like the little stragglies inside of it. And it's not the best quality. It's not bad though. It's not shit and crazy or anything like that. It's definitely doing what I needed to do. I was thinking about layering it. Let's do these lips. Going in with my favorite brown pencil. Um, let me dab my lips so it's a little drier. And I think I want to do like a milky inside. Not milky, but like, hmm. I don't have the gloss that I want. I ran out of it. What was it? Morphe's. It was something from Morphe. I gotta, I gotta get it. And I gotta find out what it was. I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of it. I'm using this MAC lip gloss. In Dress to Dazzle. Lip gloss. Is this, oh no, this is their Dazzle glass. I want it like a bright inside. I don't really care for the consistency of this lip gloss. I more so use it for the color. And I know y'all like, what color? <laughs> I 
Let me see what this does on top of it. This is a, I don't wanna use a lot, mm-mm. It gave me a little pink, mm-mm. This is So Juicy Cutie. Yeah, that definitely gave me a little pink. But it's okay, it's cool. I'm cool with, with this. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna stand up so y'all can see the overall look. Okay, I'm gonna put on gold jewelry instead. But I really don't feel like doing that for this video. Um, And I'm not gonna wear this to the cookout if I go. But just for the sake of this video, you know, hold on, let me back up so you can see the shoes. I'm even a little um, wrinkled. I wonder if you can tell. This is what the body's giving right now at eight weeks worth of weight loss. You gonna see what it's giving at 12 weeks. I don't like this top because it's too big. It doesn't really fit right. Yeah, I got this top from Shein. I got the bottoms from Shein as well. I love this. I love how it touches the stomach and goes around. You tie it up. Very much giving like Y2K type of vibes. Very cute. I am here for the final look. I love this all white. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Did y'all enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I like these, like you could twerk in them. You definitely wanna wear something white though because these are kinda of see-through. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was cool chatting with y'all, you know, getting this little look done. I'm gonna get me some more content done and we are gonna call it a night, all right? Bye, make sure y'all like this video. You stay here with me this whole time, you have to like the video only right if you made it this far definitely let me know in the comments as well okay and i'll see y'all in my next one bye